legs up. You come. It's okay, it's okay. No, 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 it's okay. Go to your place. I have known Tyson since before he was mine. At the beginning of his life, he was like any other dog. Playful, affectionate, and eager to learn. But as he grew older, he began to show signs of aggression. And by the time he was two and a half, he'd started to bite. The vets that his family took him to said that he'd only get worse with time. And since his household had children, that meant he had to go. Everyone knew that Tyson would not survive a rehoming. He was a combination of infamously dangerous breeds and had begun living up to their reputations. So the only kinds of people who would be willing to adopt him would be those who sought to use his aggression or who thought they could cure it by simply not abusing him. If he went to either kind of owner, he would end up hurting someone and getting put down. So although I was nowhere near ready to do so, I decided to take him myself. In the three years that I have had him, Tyson and his trainer have taught me that he has a long list of needs and an even longer list of triggers. As long as those needs are met and his triggers avoided, I can keep him from becoming aggressive about 95% of the time. But because I live in a condo, doing so takes a lot of work. And the moment I need a break, things get dangerous again. So I decided that since keeping my dog and myself safe has become a full-time job, I might as well try to monetize it. If I can make money by taking care of Tyson, then I can afford to spend more time doing so. If I make enough, I can move out and get him a fenced-in backyard to run around in, which would solve most of our problems. And if I can do all that while educating people on how to manage dogs like Tyson, then maybe I can prevent situations like ours from occurring again. So help me get the message out. Comment, like, and subscribe to follow Tyson's journey and to bring it to others. And together, support may be enough to keep him safe. Dogs like Tyson don't need to be put down. They need to be uplifted. In doing so, we can save their lives. So please help me save his.